want to talk about Europe because it has been the center of so much of our understanding of Christianity, most of our written church history that is is available to us in the West has come from Europeans. Uh, the as you met, we you, excuse me, as you mentioned with the Protestant Reformation, we have Martin Luther, we have John Calvin, we have all of these different people, but yet we've seen Christianity decline uh, within, as we've said, the West, not just referring to the United States, but Europe too. How much of a decline are we seeing within European Christianity over the last, I don't know, few decades? Yeah, European Christianity is experiencing a very, very fast decline. I think in the post-World War II era in particular is when we saw the fastest decline. But you have to nuance, because I'm a social scientist, you have to nuance what, what does decline mean? So in our statistics, so if you open up my book and you go to Europe, it's Europe is going to look really Christian still. Yeah, the numbers were high. I was yeah. like, Wait, what? <laughs> the numbers are a lot higher than what people assume. And the reason for that is because a lot of Europeans still self-identify as Christians in some way. They're baptized into the church or to be Hungarian is to be Christian. To be British is to be Anglican in some way. But what the those figures don't show is belief in God, church service attendance, prayer, um, how much you tithe, or any other of these uh, kind of beliefs and practices of, of Christianity. Is Jesus the son of God? So if I were to map, for example, belief in God, um, that's going to be a very different map than what you have there of self-identification as a Christian. Mm-hmm. So like looking at France, uh, a lot of French are still Catholic in some cultural way, but only about 5% of French Catholics attend church on any regular basis. So the European religious context is much, much different than the United States because of a long history of the connection between church and state and and all that. Um, Secularization looks a lot different there than it does in the United States or in other places. So while the decline narrative is true, I also like to nuance the decline narrative a little bit (laughs) because um, I don't want the only thing that people think about European Christianity is decline. Well, it's it's not just declining though. I mean, we have so many immigrants coming in. Exactly. They're renewing and reviving it. So talk about that for a moment. I'm glad you mentioned that because we had on the show, Daniel Yang, Matt Sorens and Eric Eric Costanzo in Inalienable. Yeah. And uh, how these marginalized churches are renewing or can renew really the church. And and it's my, my contention that God has brought the nations for one of two reasons. One, to be reached, to hear the gospel, gateway cities, David Garrison, people that have never heard the gospel, have been closed off, have the opportunity to hear that. That's number one. Number two, or to renew or revive. That's the other option. God is is doing a work where he is taking these immigrant groups into the churches and renewing and reviving them. We're seeing an increase in Europe. Are we not? And and tell us about that, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, so I would say... Nearly every major European city has immigrant populations there, and a large proportion of them are Christians. If you look at Italy, for example, there are at least 500 congregations of one particular Nigerian denomination and another 500 congregations of one particular Ghanaian denomination. So Nigerians and Ghanaians going to Italy, and they're planting churches all over Italy, and it that it's just an astounding trend that people really did not anticipate. So the connection between migration and Christianity and mission is huge. And people are doing a lot of research in that area. But but we see it all throughout major European cities that the growth of Christianity is happening among people of color, among migrants. And they're from all around the world, bringing a different kind of Christianity than has been known in Europe for the most part. Well, elaborate on that because you just freaked out a bunch of people by saying that a different Christianity makes it sound like it's some alien form. Describe (laughs) what you mean by a different form of Christianity just to put our audience at ease. Sure. Uh, So most European Christianity is Eastern Orthodox or Catholic or Anglican, right? So kind of high church traditions, very liturgical, very ancient old traditions. Um, but the kinds of Christianity that are being that are being brought by uh, people from Latin America, from Asia, from Africa, for the most part, it's Pentecostal charismatic Christianity. 
Um, it's more Protestant theologically, but it's also very exciting. There's a lot going on in Pentecostal charismatic churches. Uh, there's exuberant worship. There's miracles that are happening. There's interpretation of tongues and speaking tongues and long worship services and all kinds of things like that. Um, so it, it's just a different flavor of Christianity than generally you see in Europe. <laughs>